In this edition of Earthlings Unscripted, a ghost story by Earthlings Unscripted illustrator, Mexi Pina. So it's interesting that I'm telling this ghost story now because this story was the beginning of a long and magical journey for me. And now that I'm um, closing cycles and starting over, this story comes back to me for me to begin again. It all started with my obsession with Kurt Cobain. I would spend countless hours listening to his music, reading his notebooks, watching his documentaries, and just obsessing over his music and art. I knew, and I know to this day, that we are connected somehow, that his spirit and his wonderful energy is still present and very much alive. So four years ago, my husband Victor asked me to give him Live Through This, the incredible album from the band Hole, as a birthday present. As we know, Hole's front woman is Courtney Love, widow of Kurt Cobain. So I asked for the CD on Amazon, you know, online, yes, the 90s style CD, and um, and it came in the mail. We opened it and listened to it in our car on repeated occasions. Two years after this happened, we were getting ready to move around and we were getting ready to rent our home in New Orleans. So we started to pack up the whole house and, uh, you know, leave just the stuff that we were going to keep on the side to put in the shed. Uh, We have like this big shed on the back of our garden and we were just moving the stuff that we were going to keep in storage back there. When suddenly I saw something gleaming in the light and I was like, oh, what's, what's that? And I got closer. And as I got closer, I realized that it was that CD, that whole CD lived through this newly wrapped. And so I turned to Victor and uh, gave him the CD in his hands and he looked back at me puzzled and he was like, "Um, what's this? And I said, oh, uh, your CD, you put this here. To which he responded, "Uh, no, I didn't. And so I was like, well, you know, if it wasn't you and it wasn't me, then who was it? because this is your CD, I asked for it. And he said, yeah, but it's newly wrapped with all the stickers and everything. And I just, I didn't put this here. So I went back and forth for a little bit until I said, well, you know, there's only like you who lives here and then me and then a six month old baby and two cats. So it had to be you, Victor. Suddenly, we both looked at each other perplexed, and we both knew that neither him or me had put that CD there. So we ran back into our house, went to our car, checked that the other CD was there, the one that we had asked for two years ago, and it was there, unwrapped and placed where it was. We went on Amazon to see if we had ordered an extra CD. There were no extra orders. We asked all of our family, all of our friends. Nobody knew anything about the extra whole CD in the shed. Yeah, so uh, as we come to the end of the story, to this date, we have no idea who put a newly wrapped whole CD in our shed. Or maybe we all guessed it right and we do know who it was.